So Jason Bloom and James Wan are going to merge companies? It looks like Jason Bloom and James Wan are preparing to change the landscape of the horror film industry. Now, few names stand out as much as James Wan and Jason Bloom in horror films today. Wan and Bloom have collectively earned billions of dollars at the box office. Jason Bloom's Bloom House is a staple in horror today, and James Wan's name spawned a sprawling conjuring franchise. These titans and horror are in the late stages of combining their companies into a single horror film factory. The news comes from the New York Times and they're sharing the following. Jason Bloom is pushing for Bloomhouse to make at least eight horror movies for release in theaters each year, up from the three or four it has historically delivered. And he wants to make another slate of horror flicks for Peacock, NBC Universal streaming service. Yeah, Bloomhouse also makes television series. But Mr. Bloom's primary challenge? He says, I don't have one idea to turn into a horror movie. Not one. I built a business by recognizing great ideas from other people. Enter James Wan, whose first look deal with Warner Brothers expired in June after seven years. His production company, Atomic Monster, which has nine employees, has been involved with horror films Lights Out, The Nun, Annabelle Creation that have taken in at least $3.5 billion at the box office over the years. Wan says, I have so many ideas, so many ideas, more than I can handle by myself. He would like to expand into horror-related video games, podcasts, live events, and perhaps merchandise. Now, Mr. Bloom, 53, and Mr. Wan, 45, declined to discuss the contours of the proposed deal, except to say that Atomic Monster would become a creatively autonomous label inside of Bloomhouse and have a first-look deal with Universal. They hope to close the deal before or during the first quarter of next year. I think this is incredible news for horror fans. James Wan and Jason Bloom's names are the ones that I think of when discussing anticipated horror. There are a few exceptions, but few films deliver as consistently as the projects with their involvement. I'm a huge fan of the Conjuring franchise and the many spin-off films that followed. I'm also finding myself watching more and more Bloomhouse movies like The Purge and The Black Phone and walking away pleased. I really like the idea of these two working together and freeing up James Wan to be more creative. This seems like a match made in heaven or hell or whatever purgatory you want to choose. With all of us getting all of the best of both worlds. I'm looking forward to James Wan potentially getting involved in television through this deal. I'm going to have to check and see if James Wan has the rights to use any of his previous work in this new deal as well. Can you imagine a Conjuring or Conjuring-like TV series with James Wan's input? It's giving me chills. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. As usual, if you guys like these updates, you want to see more, please do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to have to check you guys later. Peace.